Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want to take it. Um, keep in mind this may not resonate with you because I can't reach every single person, okay? Also, the timing is fluid. This is being recorded for the week of June 18th. But this could have happened, may be happening now, or could be happening in the future. Keep all nasty comments out of the uh, comment thread. I don't want to hear anything nasty about another sign. Keep that shit out of the comments. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Ooh, Four of Wands, happiness, contentment. Um, you may be attending some gathering this week. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez, now we have contradiction here. So, the Sun card is always happy to a certain extent, but you may not be, um, you may have a, a periods of sadness, okay? There could be periods of sadness, just keep that in mind. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. So your intuition is spot on this week, put it that way. You're definitely seeing things clearly. Whatever is going on in your life, you, you, there's no confusion going on. You are very intuitive. Your intuition is spot on. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to, to the messages that you're receiving because you have this awareness about you this week that is, you know, very, very... Um, My mind keeps going blank today. It's uh, descriptive, put it that way. It's like you you know what's going on. There's no secrets being kept from you. Okay, put it that way. Um, let me just get this fixed up. So right now, right now it feels like you are working on your foundation. You're working on broadening your horizons. You're, you've got a lot of focus. You're acting with integrity. Um, this is the page of, of Pentacles, which is somebody who has a lot of integrity at this time. Um, I feel like I feel like this is a time when you begin to use your your backbone, your moral backbone, to rise above a situation and take charge okay that's what's happening here i feel as though there was a a period of sadness that you are overcoming that's what it looks like to me you're mastering your emotions you are you guys are right in your own element this week and that is fantastic it really is your challenge for this week is um Your ego, okay? Because the Nine of Cups is an ego card. And it's a, it is a wish fulfillment card as well. But it's also an ego card. It's somebody who has a lot and they kind of smirk, you know, blah, blah, blah. And not only do they do they smirk, they, they feel like they deserve more than others or whatever. So, or they need a lot of attention. Their ego needs to be fed. So... Your challenge is the Nine of Cups reversed, okay? So you have to overcome your ego, okay? That's a challenge. That's a challenge. And we all have it, so I'm not pointing my finger at you. You have to overcome your ego's desires, okay? It's about acting in love, okay? It's about love. And, that, and you know that, and I can see that you do. You're very kind, you're very caring, you're very emotional. And this week you're emotionally, you're more emotionally stable than you have been recently, okay? But it, this could be the challenge because maybe maybe the challenge is keeping your keeping your emotions in check. That's probably the case here. Okay. Around the corner, there could be um, some instability, some insecurity. You could be, and I'm just, I have to tell you what I see. Uh, I have to see that, you know, you may be turning away from um, 
people that bring drama into your life. This could be family. Maybe in the future you decide that, you know, you're looking for a drama-free life. I, I need to release the drama from my life, and you're part of it. So you may be turning away from, from feuding, from family, from friends, from other people, cutting them out. You know, and that's and the thing is, is that can go along with this card right here, this nine of cups reversed. You could be turning away from anybody that doesn't serve your higher purpose. OK, right around the corner. It's like, no, if you don't if you don't bring anything uh, secure into my life, if you're only maybe this person is acting out of ego and they're bringing you down, whatever the case of the matter is is you guys are finding that moral backbone to bring peace and serenity and happiness to your life. And if that means removing people from your life, then so be it. That's what it looks like to me. So I've and you know, how others and now how others see you is this two of wands. I feel like the other people's other people see that you have options. They know that you have options. Other people see your restlessness. Other people see your your lack of contentment through your emotions when you're overly emotional. They see that, okay? They do. They see that you, you're you probably um, indecisive about some things. They probably see that, you know, you 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 don't know what you want to do at this point. They think that you you could decide to suddenly leave. They, they see that you're on the fence, okay? Other people see that you have options and that you're you're on the fence and you're not sure what you're going to do, okay? Other people can see that. Your advice is to get outside of your head, the two of swords. It's, it's you know, right now it's time for you to see the truth. That's your advice. See the truth. Accept the truth. Be honest with yourself. Um, I feel like your advice is to let your guard down, you know, or to keep your guard up. It could go either way. Put your guard up. Put your sword up. Don't let people step on your toes. Don't let people steal your energy. Don't let people put you down. Don't let people make you emotional because I see that you are going to be cutting people out of your life that don't serve you. So your advice is to let go of anxiety and resentment. Okay, um, don't hold on to emotional coldness. Just drop it. Drop it like a freaking hot potato. Okay, um, your future is giving up on a situation that doesn't serve you. That's what it is. So I see that this is a week of cutting drama out, getting rid of it, just getting rid of it. You're right in your own element. You're mastering your emotions. You have a lot of self-love this week. I feel like you're very intuitive and you know who needs to go. You know who needs to go and what needs to go from your life. And I feel like you're, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone, step outside of your ego self. It's, it's better to be happy than to, to be involved with people that don't serve you. And that's why this ego card is here. Some people feel like they need ego because society needs you, says you need to have a lot of friends. That's not the case. It's not the case. If people hold you back, if people cut you down, if people make you cry, then you don't need them. Trust me. So I feel like this is a day. This is a week of closing doors as well, because nines are closure. I see that you guys are probably going to decide to suddenly cut people off. That's what it looks like to me. Just cut drama out of your life. You are acting with integrity to build your foundation up to be more stable and secure. I think there's been some people, maybe it's even family members that don't, they don't support you. And if it's family or friends that don't support you and it's time to, to remove them, to turn away from them. So I feel like this is a week of closing doors that no longer need to be open. Okay. Your intuition knows, okay. The outcome is following your intuition. It's this high priestess card. The outcome is about seeing situations clearly. You've gained wisdom through suffering. You have. You have wisdom through life. You've got a lot of life experience behind your back. I'm telling you to really find that power within you to follow your own inner self, okay? So it feels like this is a week of cutting people out that don't serve you so and making some decisions okay i feel like you guys are going to be making some some decisions on the fly they're going to be sudden decisions they're going to be like you know i'm done with you i'm just done 
And that brings immediate, instant happiness and relief to your life. It really does. And I know you find that hard to believe because you're such a caring, compassionate person. But there comes a time when people really impact your happiness to a point where you can't you can't let them be a part of it anymore. So I feel like that's definitely an issue. So I want to know what else is, a, is in the future here for Cancer. Now the Fool card reversed is about not being taken advantage of next to this Nine of Wands. You need to be careful because I'm telling you that there's somebody in here in your dynamic that is taking advantage of you. I, I can see it. This says be careful. Be careful. Are you being naive? Are you being naive? In the future, there could be somebody that is not really helping you. They're taking advantage of you, and you have to you have to let them go. So I feel like you are being taken advantage of, and in the future, you may decide to release somebody in the future, which is, you know, pretty... Uh, goes right along with what I'm saying. Advice. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Right now, your advice is right now you're mentally trapped. You are. You are. You're going through some turmoil. You need to get out of your head. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. I said that before the card even came out. You need to free yourself. You do. You need to free yourself from these people that bring turmoil into your mind, into your heart, into your soul. You do. You do. So I feel like your advice for this week is to go after what you deserve. Tell them what you deserve. Um, it's about bringing balance and, and peace and harmony back to your life. I feel like this is a week of balancing out your emotions, bal balancing out your life. And in order to do that, you're going to have to cut out the dead wood. You are. So it feels as though right now you are being, your generosity and your kindness, these are now marrying each other, your generosity and your kindness are being taken advantage of this week. So my advice to you is to get out of your head and stop staying in the safe zone and cut these people out that aren't giving you what you deserve. They're not giving. They're not. They're taking advantage of you. Somebody's taking advantage of your cancer. I don't know who. Um, I want to know. I want to know more about this outcome. You know, I feel like your intuition is telling you that some sort of, there's no growth left in a relationship. There's no growth left in romance. There's some sort of romance that is that is falling apart, dying. And I don't know who this is for. I don't. Okay, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. The outcome is, I mean, the Knight of Cups reversed is um, love not blossoming, love not growing, um secrets in a relationship okay so I feel like they're in the outcome I feel like there's uh, you know a burdensome choice that you have to make that your intuition is telling you to make in regards to letting go of a relationship I know I don't I'm sorry I'm sorry it feels as though um your intuition is is telling you that something is too heavy to carry around this is too much it's too much. I'm being taken advantage of. This person doesn't really love me. I feel like your intuition is telling you that and you are going to have to take action because you deserve. You deserve to be loved. Okay? So I feel as though, you know, this week is about making a a decision based on what your intuition is telling you. You are a kind, loving, generous person who I feel is being taken advantage of by family, friends, or a partner. And you have to 
find the means within you to cut them out even though it breaks your heart because you don't want to do that but they're weighing you down somebody is weighing you down it's causing you sadness it's causing you depression and I feel as though you know you will probably find instant contentment when you finally make that decision to take that step to you know find your integrity to do the right thing even though it hurts and I'm sorry to tell you that but I feel as though you have you have choices here you do with these twos you have choices you have two paths you have to make a decision um, whether to stay or go so I think that this is a week of making a decision whether to stay or go um, from a situation that you know that isn't um, healthy for you I feel like somebody is taking advantage of you and you absolutely positively know it. Um, you deserve more. They see your generosity. They see their kind, your kindness and they're taking advantage of it. That's what it looks like to me and it's not making you very happy. So I'm not sure what this is, but we're looking for future in love. We're gonna, this is, yeah, I think you've been taken advantage of. Um, we want to go right around the corner. I think there could be somebody moving out. There could be so, there there could be changes in your home. I want to see what the else. Yeah, you could be somebody could be left out in the cold. Okay, somebody could be left out in the cold because you deserve more. You deserve more. So I know this is quite different than last week's reading because I'm reading for thousands of people. Okay. I feel like there is a, some sort of decision that is being made to cut somebody out because they don't suit you. They're no, they're no longer meant to hold you back for some reason. I'm not sure what this is. There is an opportunity for contentment it's, it, almost instantly after you make the decision and, and do the right thing. So whatever this is, I'm not sure what it is, but I feel as though... There is some side of, sort of burden that is weighing you down. You absolutely know what this burden is, too. You do. Your intuition knows what it is. And it has to do with some sort of relationship that, it, that isn't growing. It's not. It's not growing. And you've been in denial for quite some time, hoping things would change, but they aren't changing. So, you know, I feel for whoever this is for, that you guys need to go after what you deserve. You deserve equality within a relationship. And right now it doesn't appear that you're receiving it. Okay? Right now you're probably staying in this situation because it's safe. It's safe. But it's not fulfilling. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not fulfilling. But your ego, it's codependency. It's codependency. I don't want to be alone. And you do have a codependent nature. You do. So I think that that's what the case is. If you are single... If you are single and you are not with anyone, let's get, in, let's get a little bit of advice on that one. If you are single, you need to keep being patient. Be patient, okay? Eventually, someone is going to come around. Divine timing. If you are single, continue to be patient. Sevens are divine timing. Continue to be patient. It will come. Keep working on yourself. Keep keep removing um, things that don't need to be in your life keep removing the dead wood keep working on doing the right thing keep following your intuition keep um, letting yourself grow be patient okay because it will come um, if you are single just just be patient all right the time isn't it hasn't happened yet it hasn't happened if you're single if you are coupled there is um, there could be some sort of closing of a door. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. If you're single, you're, you're still carrying around burdens from the past. You are, if you're single. Because remember I asked if you're single and I just happened to see this. If you're still holding on to burdens from the past, you need to completely free yourself from them before this person is going to come in. There's no new offer of romance until you drop those burdens for real. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. 
You have the ability to do that. Okay? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And the romance of the lifetime isn't going to come overnight. It's not. For couples or for singles, the romance of a lifetime is going to come when the time is absolutely right. Okay? So I feel like divine timing is at play here, absolutely, for some of you. I also feel as though um, there, is, there, there could be, you know, some sort of uh, change in residence, change in home, change in security, because you're being called to let go of something that doesn't, doesn't jive, okay? Somebody could be left out in the cold, whether they leave you out in the cold or you leave them out in the cold. But it's leading you to your soulmate. It's leading you to your true love. Okay? So whatever this is, apply it to your own situation. I feel like you deserve your soulmate. You deserve your happiness. You deserve your true love. Don't settle for somebody that doesn't love you back. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.